The markets are crashing. Do you stay away and wait for normality? No, absolutely not. This is um, it's actually a great opportunity. We're seeing some very fluid moves and the, the market is very generous in times like this. So, no, traders do not stay away. Um, that would be a little bit like a toy shop, not, um, not opening up in the run-up to Christmas. We've had a, a debt crisis, you see, building up for some time and an inevitable economic downturn may well be triggered now by this virus. Um, the problem is that much of the world is at close to zero interest rates. Uh, obviously not China, so they've had much more of a capacity to uh, reduce. Uh, over here, on the western side of, of the world, um, rates are, you know, there's not so much room to cut and help matters. Uh, QE, again, is, in my opinion, going to have very limited success. We've also got the oil controversy going on at the moment, which is only helping our road to potential deflation. Um, so we've got an economic and credit problems sort of just over the horizon. And I'm talking about the huge corporate debt crisis, which, which will probably unfold in the next sort of 12 months or so. Now, I know this all sounds awful, and it is, but to a trader, it's actually uh, a great opportunity. Yes, many people will suffer financially through no fault of their own. Uh, a trader will actually, uh, you know, could do very well in times of, times of crisis. How do you see the economic climate in the next few quarters and how will you react? Right, next few quarters. So going forward in the medium to long term, I think we, we're going to see real interest rates rise as, as credit gets squeezed. So um, I'm not talking about um, base rate here. I'm talking about like real interest rates as, as the cost of debt. Um, many of us will obviously <coughs> just have to sit and watch it happen. Traders are in a fortunate position that they can... Uh, plan for it and make money from it. Either way, you see, these things happen. It's just economics and debt cycles. Um, there'll be countries who are coupled with with a corporate debt problem, and they're also going to have to deal with a rising currency. Now, if you understand where the money flow is, you can go with it and you can avoid much of the pain. Okay, so some people may not fully understand the economics behind your concerns. Won't the central banks cushion any potential economic crisis? Well, look, I believe we need huge fiscal stimulus. The virus seems to be the trigger to what is already an ever-growing debt problem. Uh, I don't know if this virus will trigger the recession now or will we recover and get a recession, you know, perhaps next year. I think the central banks will obviously do everything they can, but their capacity to be able to rescue the situation is fast disappearing. We're too close to zero interest rates for banks to, banks to be able to help. Medium term to long term, it's really now down to the government's fiscal stimulus. And unfortunately, that's where the problem is. Governments, you see, um, tend not to be particularly efficient in taking actions to uh, address problems, if you like. Short term, you know, um, we're looking at political pressures uh, pushing the government one way or the other, and that will triumph over medium and long term sound planning. So, any government measures that obviously will be taken are going to be, in my opinion, inadequate, sort of, at least in the short term. What would you say to someone who perhaps isn't as focused on the macroeconomics? Are there any positives? What should they be doing in times of financial crisis? Positives, well, look. When someone loses money, then someone else has obviously made it. So it's understanding the fundamentals. That's, uh, that's really what's key. And although you won't be able to learn everything over a weekend, this is not going to be the last ever crisis, you see. Unfortunately, they, they happen all the time. So be prepared and ready um, the next time one of these happens. Uh, learn what you don't know, acquire the knowledge, get experienced and protect yourself and your loved ones from financial adversity. It's, it's not a secret. You know, I wasn't born a trader with macroeconomic knowledge. It's, at the end of the day, it's just knowledge and understanding. Understanding how the world works, uh, it's not overly difficult to learn.